Good morning from cold, sunny Illinois. My name is Dan. This is my channel, Underwater Gardens. Uh, first video, way back in the day, I used to have a YouTube channel, and I really enjoyed making the videos, and life happens. I haven't made a video in a really long time, so I want to make a channel dedicated to my new favorite hobby, which is aquascaping. Um, so a little bit about myself, since this is the first video. Uh, I'm new to the hobby. I've only been doing it for about a year. I got this 90 gallon tank for free from someone that was moving uh, and I fell in love with it. Uh, my dad used to breed discus back in the day when I was a kid. He had like seven tanks going at once so I've always loved fish. Favorite hobbies fishing. Um, I've always enjoyed them. I just never thought about making an aquarium until I got a little older. So I started watching a lot of awesome YouTube channels. I can list them in the description below, the ones that I find specifically influential. It got guys like Blas Farkas from Green Aqua, George Farmer, MJ Aquascaping, MD Fish Tanks. All, all those guys are great people to follow, people that I look up to. But anyway, I'll make a video for each one of my tanks. This is my first tank I made. It's a 90 gallon. Like I said, I got it for free. It came with a stand. I uh, painted the stand, didn't like the color. But um, this used to be a discus tank. Actually, it's had about four layouts now in a year. But this used to be a discus tank. Uh, I love discus, but um, it's getting a little boring of only having a select number of fish in there because they would bully everything I put in there. Um, so I decided to resource those to a new home and try a community freshwater tank. Um, I've always loved the planted tank look, so I bought some Fluval Stratum, and this was originally going to be an Iwagumi layout, but the hair grass in Monte Carlo weren't growing properly, the light's not strong enough. Um, so I decided just to start throwing any random plant in here that I kind of had laying around. So there's a lot of <clears throat> little groups of plants that I just plan on spreading as it, you know, as the tank matures. I am, um, so a little bit about the tank. I don't know how to say that word. Zero, zero stone I have. Uh, probably about 50 pounds of that in there. Fluval stratum with some root strap, uh, root tabs, sorry. I've got a CO2 system. It's just a typical CO2 system. It actually needs to get cleaned. But um, I'll look under the tank. There's my CO2 system. It's just a five pound bottle. With a, it's on a timer. I have a Fluval F6 um, running at about 70% capacity, 80% capacity. And then I actually bought a UV sterilizer for a pond and I mounted it to my wall. Um, really helps because this tank is next to a window. So I get a lot of algae blooms if I leave the window open. Yeah, this is my, this is my first tank I owned. I have four high tech setups I'll show you later in videos but uh, I got a bunch of plants it needs to get trimmed um, I do a 50% water change once a week I dose it with nylock fertilizer uh, as far as fish goes I have six angels I believe they're marble veil I have two I'm sorry three dwarf blue garamis they're not colored up yet because they're new I have nine cardinal tetras because the discus ate the 10th one. Um, I have two Siamese algae eaters. I had a bad black brush algae problem in this tank. And they cleared it out really, really nicely. And what I liked about that was I didn't have to use chemicals. Um, I have brilliant rasporas. I've got about eight of those. I have four quarry cats. They're probably all hiding right now. Uh, I, I plan on getting about 10 of them in total. I have a few auto sinkless, maybe like four auto sinkless. I really like these guys. I have them in my smaller tanks too. And I have one albino pleco. He's chilling on a rock right now. He's about four inches. Bristle nose plecosimus. So yeah, this tank is about six months old. 
Got a lot of Rotella in the background, green and uh, HRO red, whatever it's called. Um, I've got some Stereogyne Reapins. I'm going to actually make a carpet out of that. So I, I originally tried to do a hair grass carpet, but the light wasn't strong enough. So I think that the Stereogyne Reapins is going to be a much better carpet. Um, yeah, so I'm spacing on some of the names right now, but <clears throat> that's Baby Tears. So oh, it's just kind of been a fun tank to throw different ta uh, plants into. I'm going to plan on making it 100% planted. Uh, right now it's just kind of a way to study plants, see how they grow, see how they look when I group them together. Um, give the fish a place to hide. And then I'm going to just keep working on my layout. Like I said, it was supposed to be Iwagumi, but that didn't work out. So I decided to just start throwing different fish and plants in there, kind of make it an all-in-one tank. Uh, so it sits in my front room. Like I said, it's 90 gallons. Uh, just love this tank. It just looks really nice at night when you step back. And we have a couch in here, so you can just feed the baby, watch the tank. Kids love it because it's community. Uh, there's always something going on. And it's one of my favorite places to sit because it's just so relaxing. Just watch these guys swim around. Everyone gets along. Plants are growing in nice. Had I known I was going this route, I would have bought a lot more plants. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of blank space still, which is, but it's fun because I like to propagate plants from other tanks, stick them in here, and watch them multiply. Um, I have enough fast growers to kind of keep algae at bay. I don't have any algae problems. Like I said, I had black brush algae, but it all got cleaned up by those Siamese algae eaters. I've got a little bit in front of the glass. Um, that's got to get cleaned, but yeah. It's, I have four high-tech tanks, so I'll show the rest of them, but this is one of my favorites. Um, like I said, it's right next to that window, so. I'm trying to think what else I forgot. I've got two Nikru LED Plus lights on the top of the tank. They're low budget, but they are RGB, and um, I, for the money, I think they're great lights. I've got an old school one, which just has a toggle. Um, but now the new ones have control, sit control, um, every color but blue and then blue, which is nice. So that you can dim these, which is nice. I'm running everything in 100% in here. Like I said, it just wasn't bright enough to create a carpet of Monte Carlo, which at the time, I had another carpet in a 16-gallon tank that I loved. It's got a much better light on it. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't want to spend the money on a really, really powerful light, so I'm going a different route. Uh, not to mention, the angelfish, once I got them, they ripped up the hair grass pretty quick, which I was surprised. But they always seem hungry. They're always searching for food. So I think they just found it as a food source. Yeah, I, I keep this water really clear. I um, I use filter floss in my FX6. I use Seachem Purigen. Like I said, 50% water change once a week. I use osmosis water and dose it with e equilibrium. Um, that's all I got. So thanks for watching my video. Sorry if I talk too much. Just my first video. Figured I'd show you my favorite tank. Thanks for watching.